This report has found that there was no lawful justification for my son's killing by the police. <clears throat> he was fired at eight times in only two seconds and not, none of those shots was lawfully discharged by the officer concerned. Uniquely, a police shooting has been found to violate the right to life of someone because of the planning of the police operation and the conduct of the officer who fired the shots. First, the police failed in the planning and control on the day to avoid lethal force being used. Secondly, the force used was not reasonably necessary. And finally, the force used was disproportionate. When I gave evidence to the inquiry on the 4th of September 2012, I said that it seemed to me that Azel was executed. The chairman's report, after detailed study of the evidence, is that he is sure and satisfied he shares my view. Susan still needs more questions answered about the IPCC's decision to suppress the aerial footage once they learnt about it in November 2005 because she's not heard anything during this inquiry which makes her confident that the IPCC has not made the same mistakes which have yet to come to light or would not make the same mistakes in the future. We could be better at learning quickly on these incidents and we take that on board and we've already taken on some extra reviews as a consequence of that. Secondly, of course, this report um, might um, challenge, cause Londoners to question their confidence in the firearms policing uh, of London, but I should really emphasise that we have a massively professional team, four or five times a day, um, with weapons drawn, they're confronting dangerous people and dangerous situations, very carefully, always working really hard to use a minimum of force and only firing shots once or twice a year such as the recent Woolwich incident. If you look at thousands of firearms operations a year tackling armed and dangerous criminals with officers four or five times a day, and I should repeat that, four or five times a day in London with weapons drawn confronting dangerous people, yet shots only fired once or twice a year, I don't think any other conclusion other than great care and professionalism